my friend brought me this wheel. He said he had a loose spoke. He tightened up the spoke and the wheel appeared to be true. Put it back on, took a couple more rides and the spoke got loose again. He brought it to me and asked, why is this happening? A loose spoke indicates an underlying problem with the wheel. And to quote a well-known wheel builder, to judge a wheel just by its trueness is a dangerous proposition. We'll show you why spoke tension plays an essential role in the stability of any wheel. The wheel was laced properly, according to bone Trager recommendations, with bladed spokes. They appear to be the correct length, so why was the spoke becoming loose? The wheel was still rideable, and as we spin it on our truing stand, we can see that it's not dramatically out of true. So our next step is to check the tension of each spoke. First thing we did on our truing stand was to mark each group of spokes with our Sharpie marker so we can identify the individual spokes when we measure the tension. By the way, the marker easily comes off a little isopropyl alcohol. To measure the spoke tension, we use a spoke tension meter, this one from part two of the TM1, and it has three guides. We'll place the wide edge of the bladed spoke in between those guides as we press the handle and then carefully release it and we get an indication of the spoke tension in a number on the gauge of the guide. We'll go into greater depth on the use of a spoke tension meter in a future video. We then record this and repeat it for each spoke and move all the way around recording the number as we go. Armed with these numbers, now let's set up to our computer. Since we're using a park tension meter, let's go to the park website app for wheel tension, which is parktool.com slash WTA. We'll scroll down and we need to know certain things about our spokes in order to determine what the readings of the tension meter actually are. We can guess at these, but if you're unsure, take a look at our video in the upper right. In our case, they're steel spokes. The shape we have working with is bladed. And we've measured with our calipers the thickness at 1.1 millimeters, the width at 3.3. Hit update. Now we're going to work with a variance of up to 20%. We hope that you wheels that you build will be have a lesser variance. We know that in this particular wheel we're taking a look at, it has 12 spokes on each side. And we can go ahead and put in the tension reading off the meter. We'll get the actual tension force will come up for us. Let me just show you on a wheel I built, similar bone trigger, what it, what it looked like after we put in all the data. This particular wheel had eight spokes on each side. And if we look at the radar chart, we can see that the spokes on the right side have a much higher tension than the spokes on the left, as expected, since the spokes on the cog side are shorter to make room for that cog and therefore have to be tighter. But notice also the even tension throughout this wheel and when we look at the variance, it's actually less than 5%. Now let's go back to the wheel that we're having a problem with that was brought into us. We can take a look at the readings. And we can see that they exceed 20%. And when we look at the radar chart, the radar, the readings for the tension are quite inappropriate are all over the place. 
the spokes, especially on the dry, uh, the non-drive side, we can see that spoke number nine is actually spoke tension of zero and very quite a bit. The spokes that are on the cog side or drive side are high, but also vary. But yet the wheel is true. Well, how could that be? When spoke nine is zero, well, that's because some of the other spokes near it are so high. This completely non-uniform radar chart indicates a serious variability, which can lead to spoke breakage or even wheel collapse, a real danger. Yet the wheel is true on a towing stand. Tension chart is a good analytical tool for making a diagnosis on a wheel. So what causes a loose spoke? A poorly built wheel or a wheel that was trued but the spoke tension not checked or adjusted. Failure to use spoke prep without which the spokes will loosen up. Using spokes that are too long or too short in wheel building. Overlook damage to the rim, especially on carbon fiber wheels. There's another important lesson here. Whenever you true a wheel, also check the spoke tension. That may be the culprit. And if the spoke tension is out of whack, you not only get a loose spoke, you may get a broken spoke or even a wheel collapse. Also check the rim for any possible damage. If you have any additions or questions, please comment below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony Ken Speed. Safe cycling.